I'll need some candy because I need to lure one of our miners. It's got timber and stone. Hi everyone and welcome to episode 27 of the Casually Avid Gamer Plays Timber and Stone. Now things are going well, although not as well as I'd hoped. Um, I let this run for about a day after our last episode. And there's one thing I found that concerns me greatly. There were, up here somewhere, let's see if we can spot them. There we go. There's the site of the slaughter. There were lots and lots of skeleton corpse up, corpses up here, and then there was a goblin corpse somewhere as well. Uh, and you can see there was a necromancer somewhere in here because he's burnt down trees like a jerk. So my worry, <laughs> my, my worry or my worry is this guy, this guy was here. That's not good. Somehow a skeleton got in and I don't know how, I don't know why. I don't know if he got in one of the small, tiny areas that you know, are left open. I'm still somewhat encouraged in that they all died on this side of the wall, um, which means there are, I'm guessing, goblins over there and just bad guys fight each other. It's it's kind of the nice thing about this game. Um, and it looks like they took out the necromancer, else he, she, it would have raised these cats already. So... Yay, but not yay because of that guy. <laughs> and since there's a corpse to gather on, um, we need to get Wit moving. Uh, unless he's, nope, he's not hurting right now. And actually one of the things we're going to do this episode is get Wit a little bit more to do. Let's see, because we've got our, our builders chugging away, getting in part of the floor for our hall, which is great and good and cool but I want to expand this this whole thing uh, expand our animal pen so that we can start putting boar and sheep in there as well because this is as many chickens as we are ever going to get it is going to be incredibly rare that we get any more ever so yeah, so we might as well keep Wit busy doing other things like getting fur from the boar and cotton or uh, wool from the sheep. Because the other thing I'm finding is switching to build, you know, town development mode. Uh, Mary Moore, our, or not Mary Moore, Scarlet, our tailor, is chewing through her, burning through her resources way faster than. Uh, then everybody can keep up and we're burning through everything we sh she can make like uh we're out of twine we are we're supposed to have 40 cloth we've only got 12 uh she's keeping up she's keeping up okay on leather but that's because we have to buy hide to make it so construction utility ooh a merchant leonard where are you sir leonard cease mining Proceed with the the trading, buddy. All right, so we want to put some fencing in. So I think we're just going to do it from here to there. And that should be fine. We'll do that again. Oh, come on now. How hard is this? There we go. And then when that comes, we can remove, when that gets built, we can remove this fencing, uh, dig this out so it's flat, and then we'll have a bigger area for storing animals. And hopefully that means we can store as many sheep and boar as we would like. Because if not, uh, basically, animals will stay in their pen, if there, as long as there's a fence around it. They will stay in their pen until you, uh, until there's too many. And then all of a sudden, they gain the ability to hop the fence for whatever reason. So there is that. 
Jeffrey just wandering around. Why don't you come over here and train, buddy, like you're supposed to? You know how it goes. You know how we do. Ooh, and we've got a merchant. I wonder what we're going to buy. Probably leather. Uh, we're selling tunics. Great. We'll finish selling those off. Ooh, and our, that part of the floor is almost done. Excellent. Uh, yeah, sure. We're not using our feathers. Then construct. No, we want construction. Flooring, arming cap. See, that's what we're liking. Uh, it was it's one one coin per arming cap and one coin per tunic, but an arming cap takes half the materials. So I think right now arming caps are our thing. Flooring. What do we want to do for flooring? Cobblestone. Pavestone. I think we'll go with pavestone. And sure, we will take 13 animal hide. That's fine. We should be good on that for a while. So then... Start using up the pavestone. Although I don't... <laughs> Although, yeah, pavestone just uses stone, so we're not going to use any of the, the plaster or brick that we created. But that should be fine. All right, so do we have our fences constructed? Great. So next up. Oh, who do we have here? Good, good, goodness gracious. She has good, vi uh, welcome Jillian. Uh, she has good vision. She's disloyal. That's awesome. Uh, she's a quick learner. She's athletic. That's amazing. Um, and what does she do? She can farm. Farming's good. I mean, farming's fine. What do we want her to do? I think we might actually let her farm. That seems like a good idea. So we accept you, Jillian, and feel free to farm. And how's our merchant doing? Uh, he's still, still working with, still talking it out with Leonard. All right, I don't know how sexy that's gonna look because that looks a lot worse than I thought it would, but that's okay. That's what we're doing with this game. It's a learning game. Uh, wait, Leonard, where did you go? Jump to Leonard. Oh, you're, you're doing that. That's fine. Uh, and actually, Leonard, you're going to be a miner again because we have some work for you. Uh, okay, fence, design, objects, no, not objects. Wall. Our construction. Utility. Fence. And control shift. Ah! Ah! Stop! Craziness. Go up one. Up another. Okay, I'm, I, I, I don't know how to remove a fence. Um, oh, wait. Maybe it's... Dig mine. There we go. That's the bunny. Take that down. And then actually, we're going to want to go ahead. Because our pens have to be flat. We'll do that as well. I hope. Although, eh, we'll just be busy <laughs> if, if something goes wrong. So next up, where is Leonard? Where did Leonard? Where did you run off to? Leonard, buddy, you've got work to do. Yeah, see, all the way over there, and we want you here. We want you working here, buddy. starting to get that in I guess that doesn't look bad and oh I'm a muggins okay my original thought was to have the outline of the floor be stone and then the central area be wood but that didn't work out so well this year uh this time that's okay this will be fine uh you got too much in for me to want to try to 
can't dig it out now. Uh, Wit, you are done foraging. Well done, buddy. You're going to herd, and you are about to be very, very busy. Winnard, where did you go? No, Leonard, get back over here. I'm going to have to babysit him on this one, ain't I? Okay, good. He can take down the fence. Excellent. All right, buddy. Come on now. You can do it. Let's see. Oh, he must. Yeah, he got wood back out of it. Neat. Jillian's accepted into casual corners. She's farming. So, Jillian, my good new friend, we, Jillian, you and I need to have what I like to refer to as the talk. So, welcome to Casual Corners, Jillian. Uh, you will find here that we have, that we require that a certain standard be maintained. Do we have another merchant? No, I guess not. Okay. So you will find, I'm sorry, darling, I was, I was, uh, I was distracted. Uh, you will find that we require a certain standard of living to be maintained. So by way of such, on your person, you will keep one sword, stabby, one helm, light, one set of armor, chest armor, light, and one set of boots, also light. Uh, please maintain these at all time. Please never uh, have more than 10 uh, weight whatever that is on you at all times and get back to work. Do us proud. And Leonard wandered off again. He's going to try to, I know what, I know what you're going to try to do, buddy. Yeah. See, I saw you. I saw you, Leonard. I saw you. Yeah, there you go. Get back to work. Floor's going in great. I had to uh, pull out the doors because I forgot to put something under them. <laughs> because uh, otherwise it would have just been grass. And that's kind of ugly under your door jam. All right, Leonard, you're you're done. Look at you go in, buddy. Here you go, Leonard. I'm proud of you. And technically, I think these chickens have escaped, but Wit doesn't seem to be panicking too much about it, which is fine. And, and the good news is they're not hopping fences and, and all that other good stuff. All right, guys, I'm going to pause here whilst uh, Leonard finishes digging out our new pen. And no, Leonard, get back to work. And when this, uh, this flooring gets in, and then we'll start looking at doing the walls. I'll check in with you guys in a minute. All right, we're back. We've got our floor in and our foundation. And now our some of our builders our putting in our walls. Now I wanted to do the walls in plaster. I really did. But turns out our stonemason doesn't know how to make plaster yet. So they're doing them out of uh, timbered brick, which I hope that looks good. It's really kind of hard to tell from like you know, these things really how it's going to end up looking. Um, I hope it's awesome. We'll find out. But our stonemason, that's not Mary. Is it, who's, is it Vincent? Are, are you our stonemason? Yes. He is at level five. You need to be level six to make plaster. I've got him making a whole bunch of brick. Um, one, to try to keep ahead of these kids. And two, to just get up to level six so he can start making the plaster as well. And wow, that burns through resources so fast. All right, let's 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 take a look down in our mine. See how all that's going. Design. All right, our miners are going again because we're down to 432 stone, which is the thing. We've got a ton of dirt. 
we've got an absolute ton of dirt. Oh, it's and also it's because they're cherry picking all of these resources, which I can't fault them for. That's fine, except for the tin. Tin is kind of useless. If you see it, you can grab it. Okay. Next up, what do we want to do? Let's see. We don't want to dig mine anything else. Next up, we said we were going to try to keep wit busy. And golly gosh darn, that's exactly what we're going to try to do. And hope that our wheat production can keep up with it. So, let's go down to here. Yeah, about here. That's fine. Alright, to start off with, let's domesticate a few sheep. Come on, you. And then there should be a few boar just floating around. What's that? Oh, that's a tree stump. Domesticate that sheep too. And one more boar. Do we want to do another sheep? I think we want to do another sheep. I don't know why. Just don't judge Wit. He like he likes it. He likes animals. Leave him alone. Okay. Um. So what else is going on? It's this is a whole new <laughs> kind of world for me. Trying to figure out how to keep up with construction because, well, we just had to keep up with stone production, but now we need a stonemason to make the bricks and make the plaster that our builders are going to use. So we should probably keep that in mind for future use. That doesn't look bad, does it? And also, I don't... I don't know that there's a way to do windows. Objects, like are they under doors? No, those are all doors and well, some gates, but that's close enough. Uh, furniture, no. Lighting, no. Decor, no, but we'll get some of that going here in a little bit. So yeah, I just, I, I don't know how to do Windows, I mean, I'm trying to do windows. You can see I'm trying to do windows here by just leaving those like that and we'll just leave it open. Uh, which I don't particularly like because then if by chance bad guys do get through, they can just hop through the door. Yeah, we're we're just waiting on wit to domesticate you fellows. So yeah, I don't know. But this is starting to take shape and I am getting becoming rather pleased with it. And... We need, let's go ahead and redefine the hall. Make the hall come to... There we go. Make it a little bit bigger and make it part of this building, I think. Oh, and before we do that, roads... Let's see, it's three, nine, it's ten wide. So if we do... Or like that. That should be good. So I think... Am, am I thinking what I'm thinking? I think I'm thinking what I'm thinking. I think instead of just having... We're going to have kind of a... Instead of just uh, an open area where there's a bend in the building, we're going to have a little courtyard instead. So we need to dig this out so we can get some foundation in there. Uh, hopefully I can, well, I'll need some candy because I need to lure one of our miners. Okay. Oh, good. Wit's getting stuff in there. Excellent. It's doing his job. Well done, sir. Hopefully that'll help. Although we may just need another tailor at some point. Hey, all right. We've bit, we've got another migrant. Goodness. Bad vision, but he's a quick learner. He's got some pretty good skills, if I do say so myself, which I do, because I do. Right on. Okay, we accept you, migrant. We ex we accept you wholeheartedly. Um. Except, go 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 going go going go going Mesnard. Okay, we're just Mesnard Mesnard. Oh, okay. If you're a subscriber. Please subscribe, or if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. If you are a subscriber and you want me to name a, a, a colonist after you, please put your name down in the comments. I will gladly change this stupid name to your name.
and then I can yell at you. So I, we all love that, right? Who doesn't love that? Okay, well, I am about to give uh, googly, googly face here the talk. I'll, I'll do that here in a second. But uh, things are starting to look good. Uh, we burnt through almost all of our brick, uh, starting to put the walls up. We're going to go through resources really fast. Um, but we've also started the wall that will kind of enclose this as a courtyard. And this is going to be our hall from now on. So, tis good. Tis good indeed. And this is starting to look pretty good. I'm, I'm kind of digging what's going on here, guys. Um, I think we're running over on this episode. Looks like Wits going gangbusters, domesticating all of those various animals and whatnot. So that should be helpful and great and grand. So like I said before, if you're new to my channel, please click that subscribe button. If you've been around for a while... Uh, leave some comments down in the comment section. Actually, do you know? Even if you're new, leave a comment. Tell me, know, let me know what you think, what we want, what we want to build, all that good stuff. Okay, I want you guys to have a great week, and I'll talk to you next time.